Good morning. Day two, Sunday. It is like 10.30. We slept in till about eight. And then got up, got ready, got some breakfast. Like kind of took it easy. So we're all rested, energized, ready to go for day two. So we did do some research and we found a couple of fabric stores that are open on Sundays. Um, we also have conflicting information about mood, whether or not they're open on Sunday. We know we went yesterday, but I mean, you could always go back and always keep looking just because it's fun. So right now we're gonna go try a new place called AK. Um, we've never been there before, but we've heard good things about it. Um, they opened at 10, right? Um, and then after that, we're going to head down past FIT, like it's a couple blocks past FIT, to a place called True Mart Discount. True Mart Discount Fabrics. The pictures looked good, like they had some good stuff possibly, so we're gonna go check that out. So we'll keep you posted on what we find, what these places are like, whether or not we're gonna be able to get into mood on a Sunday or not, and MJ. Oh yeah, MJ trimming. I wanna get some more pins for my backpack. Um, those are pins. Um, anyways, so that's the plan for the morning before lunch. So we'll see. Excited though. Getting after it, Chilling. day two. Yeah, it's like 45 yeah, 40. degrees or some 40 degrees, but it's not raining. Yeah. So we're really happy about that. And it looks like the rain's gonna hold off till the late afternoon. So and it's only like 30% chance. And then after that, it's only like 30% chance meteorologist Amber. Yeah, I checked. <laughs> me. Um, so yeah, we'll see. But we're almost at AK, so I'm gonna run. But see you soon. Bye. So, real quick update. <laughs> we literally just turned the camera off. Um, it looks like AK is closed. They are not open. Even though it says they should be, they might have something going on. Yes, either Google's wrong or an emergency happened or something. So now we're just gonna head straight to MNJ and keep moving along. Nothing's gonna get us down. <laughs> and we'll try AK tomorrow. It's really close to our hotel, so it shouldn't be any issue to swing by there and see what it's like tomorrow. So, another update. <laughs> AK was closed, MNJ wasn't open yet, so we came down to Fifth Avenue where we thought we would be able to find some warm hats. winter hats that would keep our ears warm. What do you think? We're in Lord & Taylor and we found these awesome hats. I think it looks kind of cute actually. If I had the right outfit, I would wear this. Mm -hmm. You need to go to like a derby. Yeah, the derby or like Sunday church in Charleston. <laughs> You guys, we found fascinators. Aren't they so, so cute. cute? I want to wear this somewhere, or I won't stand so out. Have a tea party. Just you and me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Y'all want a tea party at Amber's house? Yeah. You have to have a fascinator to get in. Cute. I love it so much. Still, we need to find warm hats, though. So we got a little distracted. We are in the dress gallery at Lord & Taylor, where they're like $10,000 dresses here. So we're just looking at all of them and looking at how they finish the hems and how they manipulate fabrics and look what they're lined with. And we're just like really inspired and in awe, that's a good way of saying it. So there's just a lot of really cool stuff here. So if you can get to an apartment store, especially like a high-end one. It's like a museum. It's like a museum that you can touch, which is really cool. So, um, so yeah, I know one of my New Year's resolutions was to work on finishing techniques, and this is really helping me get a better idea of other ways to do things. They are like, almost everything here has a hem band, um, rather than just turning it under and turning it under twice. Um, they do a lot of hem bands and miter corners on a lot of stuff. And yeah, it's just really cool and awesome see how big dogs do it mm -hmm. goals so oh and also i got new shoes 
Can you see them? They're like perforated pink leather and they're so cute. They're by Ellen DeGeneres. They were like a hundred bucks and I love them. I decided to go ahead and wear them today even though it's kind of wet outside. I hope I don't ruin them, but they're just too cute. Yay. So yeah, I'm probably going to go to M and J here in a minute and see what we can find exactly. back back at the hotel it is not very late um so there isn't a ton of vlog footage today because as i told you we weren't doing a lot of fabric shopping and the amount that we thought we were going to be able to do like we had talked about going down to what was that place called again which one the new one uh the fabric store yeah uh that true mark discount true, true mark discount fabric but we got so sidetracked at lord and taylor that we ran out of time so we just grabbed a quick lunch near penn station and met up with amber's aunt uncle and cousin and they took us down to the high line which was really cool some of you had recommended that to us on instagram and it was nice i mean it didn't rain today which was great because we thought it might um and the weather was cold but I mean, it was totally, totally fine. Um, and it wasn't too busy up there either because the weather wasn't great. So a lot of other people stayed in. So we basically walked almost the entire High Line. We tried to go to Chelsea Market, but they were closed for some private event. So we couldn't even get in there. And then we went to, what was it called? Artist? Artist and Flea. Artist and Flea. We did walk around there, um, which was cool. They had like, a lot of different booths of different vendors who were selling either like vintage stuff or jewelry, jewelry handmade stuff, um, vintage clothes, um, all kinds of stuff like that. And then we left there and walked more. We rode the subway today. We both got Metro cards, so we were like legit. So. Um, but basically Amber's uncle just like took us around everywhere. Um, we ended up at this really, really great restaurant called La... Start with a P. Almost like poop. <laughs> La... Oh gosh, I can't remember. Pulperia. La Pulperia is what it was called. Um, like Brazilian food. We had ceviche and guacamole and like two kinds of pasta. Anyways, that was really good. Um, and then after dinner, we wanted dessert because we were going to go to the donut place in Chelsea Market but they were closed so we found this place called Smackeries yum Smackeries and it was you could get three cookies for ten dollars or six cookies for fourteen dollars so obviously so we six got six cookies. um and here they all are we got like Red velvet. I don't want to put them on the bed. Um, red velvet and carrot cake and bourbon bacon or bacon maple maple bacon. Yeah, maple bacon. Then oh there were, were the three with the icings on them. Um, there was carrot cake. Um, on the right hand side. Oh, I, don't I don't even remember cookies and cream. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever that confetti one sprinkles. is. Um. 
They oh smell gosh. so good. How are we gonna eat all of these? Chocolate. That must be cookies and cream. It's like Oreo. We're gonna be eating cookies tomorrow for breakfast. Yay! What is that one? Maple bacon. Oh uh, yeah. And um, black no and white or cookies and cream. I don't no know. idea. It's like a tower of cookies. Anyways, now. we have so many cookies <laughs> and just the two of us. Yep. Oh my gosh. So we'll have a bite of each of those yeah. and then fall asleep. Mm -hmm. Yum. <laughs> but anyway. I did do a little bit of shopping today. Um, we went to MNJ Trim, and I wasn't really keen on getting anything from there because in the past when I've gone there and I'm like, oh, I could make this with that or I could make that with that. I get it home and I don't ever do anything with it at all. But I did get a couple things. One is I got a collection of stuff for my backpack. So like I'm all into like decorating this backpack now. I already have my Colette pen and my iHeart SBB pen. So I got this little gold bow applique that I can applique on. I got these pink little tassels that I can put on the um, zippers. So that was cute. I got these big gold pens to hold fabric on there instead of the little silly silver ones. Got big decorative safety pens for that. And then I got some, will you film me? Mm -hmm. and then I got some like cotton fringe basically because I want to make the So Caroline kimono and I want to put fringe along the bottom and maybe possibly the, um, the sleeves. So, but I want to dye this. So I'm going to have to buy some dye to make it navy because the fabric that I have like cream won't really go but cream was the most natural color the easiest one to dye so that's my haul for today amber didn't buy anything mm -hmm. just food <laughs> just delicious food. true story food. so um yeah so that was basically it um and tomorrow we've got lots of big plans to go to probably b and j in the morning because they open at eight Pacific Trimming opens at 8.30, so we'll go there next. Was that right? Pacific Trimming was 8.30? I have to look at um, metro, And then... Metro, Metro, Metro. Right, and then most everything else opens at 9. Mm -hmm. But we have a big appointment tomorrow. We are actually going to meet up with Meg from McCall Pattern Company. She's going to give us a behind-the-scenes tour of their offices down kind of in the financial district. So we will have to take a train down there um, and meet up with her and then get our tour and then we'll head to the place we forgot to go to or we didn't have time to go to today. The, I can't remember the name of it. True Mart. True Mart. Gosh, Lee, that is yeah. not, not <laughs> sticking in my brain. We'll probably try and go to True Mart and then walk back up to go to Metro and if we have time, places like Fabrics and Fabrics and yeah, that Rosen and Rosen Chattic, and yeah. Rosen and, and Elliot Beerman and Elliot Beerman. So we've got yeah. a long list of shops tomorrow. In addition to actually getting to meet Meg, which is going to be really fun. Um, she is not known for putting her face out on social media, so I'm not sure if she's going to want to be on the blog. But you'll definitely hear her voice, and you know you get to see all the same stuff we see as we see what goes on at the McCall's headquarters. So we're really excited about that. But for now, we're just gonna eat cookies and watch more HGTV, yes. get cleaned up, get into bed, rest our feet, oh, and get ready for tomorrow. Big day ahead. So short vlog today, but we'll be back with lots and lots and lots of stuff for you guys tomorrow. Good night.